The tests, which are to be demonstrated, are part of the sensitive revision of the DNA genome scale. The sensitive revision of the DNA genome scale is fully described in the book by Lewis M. Terman, entitled The Measurement of Intelligence. The examination should begin with tests that are fairly easy in order to give the child confidence before the more difficult tests are reached. In order to make the examination thorough, the subject is given a range of tests between the lowest age level at which he passes all the tests successfully and the highest age level on the scale at which he fails every test. Show me your nose. Show me your eyes. Show me your mouth. Show me your hair. What is this? What is this? Hair. What is this? Night. And what is this? Black. And what is this? Pencil. The first two tests were at the three-year level. This test is at the five-year level. Now, I want you to do something for me. Yeah. Here's a key. I want you to put it on that chair over there. Yeah. Then shut the door. Then bring me that box you see over there. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Be sure you get it right. Yeah. Put the key on the chair. Then shut the door. Then bring me the box. This is representative of the six-year level. There's something wrong with this face. It is not all there. Part of it is left out. Tell me what part is left out. Your eye. And what is left out of this face? Your mouth. And what is left out of this face? Your nose. And what is left out of this picture? Eye. These two tests are at the seven-year level. How many fingers have you on one hand? Five. How many have you on the other hand? Five. How many have you on both hands together? Ten. Now listen, I'm going to say over some numbers. And after I'm through, I want you to say exactly as I say them. Now listen and get them just right. Three, one, seven, five. Nine. Three, one, five, seven, nine. Come on. Now listen again and say exactly what I say. Four, two, eight, three, five. Four, eight, three, two, five. Now listen again and say exactly what I say. Nine, eight, one, seven, six. Nine. Eight, one, seven, six. These two tests represent reactions at the nine-year level. You know what a sentence is, of course. A sentence is some words that tell us something. Now, I'm going to give you three words, and I want you to make me a sentence that has all three words in it. The three words are boy, river, ball. Now you make me a sentence that has those three words in it. The boy's ball rolled into the river. Fine. I'll make a sentence with these three words in it. Work, money, men. The men work for money. Fine. Now listen carefully. I'm going to read some numbers. And I want you to say them backwards. For example, if I should say 514, you would say 415. Do you understand? Yes. Now remember, be sure to say them backwards. Six, five, two, eight. Eight, two, five, six. Five.
The ball and field test is scored at eight years or 12 years, depending upon the child's response. Let us suppose that your baseball has been lost in this round field. You have no idea what part of the field it is in. You don't know what direction it came from, how it got there, or with what force it came. All you know is the ball is lost somewhere in the field. Now I want you to take the pencil and mark out a path to show me how you would hunt for the ball so as to be sure not to miss it. Begin at the gate and show me what path you would take. And if you hadn't found it yet, where would you go next? Five. This test is at the 14 year level. Now you watch carefully what I do. See, I'll fold this paper this way. And then I'll cut a notch out right here. How many holes will there be when the paper is unfolded? One. I folded the paper this way and cut out a notch and there was one hole. Now I'm gonna fold the paper again and cut out a notch. And how many holes will there be when the paper is unfolded? Four. I folded the paper this way and cut out a knot and there was one hole. I folded again and there were two. Now I'm going to fold the paper again and cut out a knot. And how many holes will there be when the paper is unfolded? Three. I folded the paper this way and I cut out a knot and there was one hole. I folded again and cut out a knot and there were two holes. I folded again and there were four holes. Now I'm going to fold the paper again and cut out a knot. And how many holes will there be when the paper is unfolded? Six. I folded the paper this way and cut out a knot and there was one hole. I folded the paper again and cut out a knot and there were two holes. I fold again, and there were four. Fold it again, and there were eight. Now I'm going to fold the paper again and cut out a notch. And how many holes will there be when the paper is unfolded? Sixteen. I folded the paper this way and cut out a notch, and there was one hole. I fold again, and there were two. I folded again and there were four. I folded again and there were eight. I folded again and there were 16. Now I'm going to fold the paper again and cut out a notch. And how many holes will there be when the paper is unfolded? 32. Could you give me a rule by which I could know each time just how many holes there's going to be? Well, there are 32 boxes and 32 holes. You have seen a few representative tests. 